Hello everyone. With the patch 125, uh, there's been added uh, elevated tripod stands to the game. And as well, we got uh, melanistic fallow deer in the new map Matariki in New Zealand and in Transylvania. As well, <coughs> the spam for, ra for rares is being reduced, which means it's going to be more difficult to, far to find rare furs than it was already. As well, uh, bows have infinite arrows now. And basically, that's so. They have um, uh, improved the quality of the video box PlayStation and PS5 on visual or quality performance, uh, performance quality mode. Uh, it does look really good and achievements that were not unlocked I'm looking have been fixed. Now let's go with the list of the new map. On the new map we got Cham Chamui, Chamua, Chami, I don't know how to say it. European hare, European rabbit, fallow deer, feral goat, Greenland goose, helmeted guinea fowl, Himalayan tar, pheasant, red deer, Rocky Mountain elk wild boar, wild duck, uh, sambar deer, sika deer, and white tail. And we have uh, different biomes, uh, mountains, beaches, um, uh, lush forest, uh, rocky zones, caves. It's really a nice map. Um, the new models and um, the new animals look absolutely stunning. Uh, the coral, the feral goat is my most favorite. Favorite, it looks absolutely amazing. And well, uh, the stands, the stands, the tripods are really, really useful, as you will see in this video. Uh, there is a story mode. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, and that's basically it. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil the story mode. Um, I will be making videos daily or every two days on this uh, new map uh, on New Magic Zealand. Key Park, a fresh destination for hunters who do not compromise on their vacation stays. From dense forests full of unique vegetation to challenging mountain ranges, Matariki Park is beaming with wildlife native to North America, Europe, and Asia. Few places in the world offer the chance to hunt for Himalayan tar, Rocky Mountain elk, sika, sambar, and red deer all at the same time. Let your hunting instincts go wild and enjoy your stay. And yeah. Basically that, I'm going to be doing uh, videos about uh, this new map uh, very often until I finish all the missions and, and everything. So, with the patch, uh, if you don't buy the DLC, you get uh, this tripod for free. But it's only a medium elevation and it makes quite a lot of noise when you deploy it. Meanwhile, if you buy the DLC, you get this one, which is higher elevation and doesn't make barely any nose noise. Sorry. How to deploy it on PlayStation? Okay, you press L. To, you uh, put it on the gear, like the binos, and then you press L2 to place it and to deploy it. Once you have chosen where you want it, you press R to on playstation it only allows you 10 per map look how high how, how, how high you are sorry my english is horrible today 
uh, but uh, I found that it's not necessary to deploy all of them. You just finish using it and re remove it once you're done. And you keep carrying on with it on your gear. That's what I did. So you can look all around, look at the beach, it's stunning. It's, the graphics are improved a lot, a lot. No popping, no textures uh, blurred. It's been a great change on the video quality. I play on quality mode and it looks really good. When you want to get off, you press circle on PlayStation to get off the tripod. And then to dismantle it, you go to the middle of the tripod and press a square. here and you dismantle it so you can carry it uh, all the time with you and you just use it uh, as we're gonna see now we want to experiment with different distances see how it is books the animals or not so we're gonna start with 200 meters 200 oh where's my notes 200 meters so I'm gonna deploy the tripod 200 meters away from, I don't know what animal it was, I don't remember now. Let me have a look. Uh, a shami or shamwa, I don't know how to pronounce. We're 200 meters away. I deployed it, they didn't get spooked, they didn't get scared. So, we're gonna take down this is super helpful especially in hilly areas or where when there are slopes or things like that is super helpful so 200 meters they didn't get spooked when i deployed it next 140 meters this is a himalayan tar 140 meters away so we're going to deploy the tripod again and from 140 meters he didn't spook i must say i play on spare difficulty uh, i don't know if that changed with higher difficulties so you better test it yourself this is 140 meters away himalayan tar just uh, very very helpful as you will see next uh, with a red deer that was hidden behind the slope uh, it just gave me a perfect shot we got pink blood good good all good okay i'm not gonna go now to pick it up we're just testing the tripods here so next distance is gonna be 115 meters on a red deer that's hidden behind a slope and i didn't have a shot so uh, i deployed a tripod i see there is red deer over there so i'm gonna deploy they are behind the slope so deploy the tripod 115 meters away they didn't spook. Again, I'm playing on a splur difficulty, so I don't know if that changed. Yeah. But as you can see, he's behind a bush. A bush. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. Bush? Bush? <laughs> Sorry. So I'm going to speed up until I got a better visual. I'm still on the tripod. And now his neck is exposed, so I'm going to do a spine shot and perfect boom to the middle of the neck spine shot insta death thanks to the tripod i could take down this red deer there we are and now we can see if i didn't have the tripod i wouldn't have been i wouldn't be able sorry my english is horrible today 
to shoot him down. So I love the tripods uh, impl implementation on the game. So good. Well, it's the same model as uh, in other maps. So, but you can see uh, he was low fitness. The antlers are uneven. So good riddance. And uh, now let's have a look at uh, uh, some new animals I've been hunting today. More tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I will be making videos very often now. So now we're going to check on... Oh, my favorite, the feral goats. They look amazing. I, I think I'm going to spend all the time hunting these feral goats and fill the trophy lodge with feral goats. The mothers are so, so well done. And they're super cute. Then we're gonna be hunting feral goats all the time. Uh, they're super cute and they're so well done and the colors are vibrant. Uh, I love it. I just love them. So yeah, uh, by the way, the trophy lodge the main trophy lodge is amazing. I think it's the best looking trophy lodge ever. I like it more than the African one, much more. It's smaller than the African one, but I like it more. Look at the model of this feral goat. It's, it's a, such a well done, it's pretty. I'm gonna be slaughtering these poor things. I'm sorry, but I like them. I'm gonna fill my lodge with them. <laughs> full body, actually. I don't want heads, I want the full body. Um, next one, what we got now, the Himalayan or Himalayan tar, uh, let's see the model, <clears throat> I thought it was a big animal, it's not, it's like the size of a goat, I thought it was, it was going to be a tar six, uh, that's my uh, lack of knowledge about this animal. I thought it was going to be a tar six, but no, it's a tar five size of a goat. I, I don't think I'm going to be hunting this much. I don't like it. The looks. If I see a five star, yeah. But if not, I'm not going to bother. Now, next, we got uh, Samba deer. I didn't find a Sika deer yet. Let's uh, shoot this uh, Samba. Yeah, I'm using a, um, by the way, I always hunt all the animals with a type 5 weapon, even red deer, uh, bears, every type 6 animal I hunt it with a type 5 weapon. This is the, uh, Bush, no, no. Esther SSG M1. Great weapon. It's going down. But uh, this is the type 5, I think. But I always hunt uh, eggs or moose, big animals with a type 5 weapon, no problem. From 400 meters. Uh, except bisons. Bisons, type 6. That's the model of the sandbar. We can see the antlers are uneven. So low, low fitness. Mm. It's, it's very well done as well, but I don't really like the colors. I don't think I'm gonna be hunting this um, a lot unless they are four or five stars. I just got in love with the feral goats. And uh, next, we got uh, something that I don't know if it is a hint or something, but what do you think about it, guys? Is this a hint of something that could come in the future? I won't say anything, just listen and let me know in the comments what you think about it. Do you think it will be possible in the near future? I hope so. Thank you for watching. And happy hunting. Just listen now and let me know what you think about what he says. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Bye. Seems like Andy has five dogs. 
Are we gonna get dogs at some point? I'm so excited, I hope so. Maybe I'm just fantasizing. Okay, happy hunting. Thank you for watching. Good luck, and i see you on the next one. Bye.